okay in this tutorial what I'm going to explain is that how you are going to give the call to one of the web services see if you want to get the web services for the testing we, this is very nice document present on the github you can see this thing right I am you pasting this somewhere in the code so that at the time of your testing you may use this thing right free API which is available on the what you can say available on the web myjson.com is also there myjson.com which stores the JSON and give it for the testing that is also there for the testing purpose right so I, I got this from the this portal we are going to use this to generate the three random jokes and we are going to put into the list view right then for the posting this is also very nice you can use this for the posting see if you are going to post this data you would be getting this much output right for the posting see you are going to post over here right which will give you this thing remember that for the posting I have used this you can use same if you want to use okay now let's have some buttons I'll be back once I'll create some UI right okay I have created some UI one list is there and one API button is there make sure that if you want to work with the Woolly you are having this into your dependencies and we have already used this JSON in our JSON parsing module so this is for Woolly and this is for JSON remember that that are under the dependencies right I have already taken that okay now find view by ID r dot id dot btn api dot set on click listener and I can say this colon colon click I have already enabled the Java 8 click on the click either I am going to post the data or I am going to get the data so here I can write private void get data and void private void just say get or post that's it I'm going to say get or post both would be using Woolly right both would be using Woolly remember that Woolly has been written in the functional style right Woolly has been written in the functional style style there is a request queue right per app you should have one request queue so what I'll do is that I'll go to the web I am going to create one class say WS class say WS queue so this is nothing but the Woolly queue right let's see how Woolly queue works see here I have created one class called as WS that WS is having one private let me make it private instead of public you can make it private right and I have written one method with the name Q okay and I have written one method with the name Q which is getting only one thing is the context right Q is equals to Woolly dot new request queue and you are passing remember that per application there would be single queue generally there are many cases if you want to have multiple request queue at the time okay what request queue does precisely request queue right pool of dispatchers if you are going to consider that you have one button right and on that tap of button you are hitting the button 10 times so 10 requests need to be fired but that should be in a queue right that work is to be done by your request queue right buffer you can say request queue now how you are going to post or get the data can you see WS dot Q you are going to pass this dot what you can say add I'm going to add what request here you can say new request see here here you can say new JSON request which will give you some JSON object can you see this thing JSON request or instead of the JSON request if you are going to work with the Woolly you can use new string request right new string request right let me see see here I have written 
one volley request right string request I have not provided over here method means by default it is get right this is nothing but the get and this is a success listener this is the error listener it is typical functional style here I have used Java 8 method reference means on the success this method is going to be called on the error this method is going to be called right let's have the logs log dot i at code cool and here you can say holy error dot to string right here you would be getting holy error dot to string and here let me put holy error okay and here you are going to get success can you see at code cool and here you would be getting json string can you see that json string plus s you would be getting that json string over here okay now on the click I am going to call this get method on the click I am going to call this get method right make sure that you have taken internet permission right in your manifest file let me go to the source main this and you can see uses permission internet right uses permission what internet because your emulator or your phone is going to communicate with the internet let's see first are we getting the JSON or not let me run the code and see what happens see how simple they have made when I learned the Android this was not this easy when I learned the Android this was not this easy we were writing default HTTP clients then we were using a OK HTTP and now we are using Woli and the retrofit libraries with the works with the RX Java retrofit is another library I'm not going to cover that thing but I might upload the videos sometimes later retrofit right so this was not that easy just three lines of code which is giving the call to the web and you will see you would be getting some JSON over here very soon Gradle is building okay APK would be getting built in the app now I can hit API and somewhere here can you see this is not that JSON so this is about the JSON par parsing we need to get it about web services web services can you see type JSON joke is this see you got the JSON by the call so this s is nothing but the JSON right so what it is returning exactly it is returning something this kind of right it is returning something this kind of now if you want to check it what exactly it is you can use JSON lint right JSON lint so that you would be getting some proper JSON this is not easy to understand if you see this thing you would be getting understandable JSON like this right now see what you are going to create you are going to create one class for this right then you are going to create this ID joke categories ID joke categories categories is nothing but list of string so first you would be having this as a joke response so what I'm going to do is that I would be creating one DTO over here as joke response web services this main Java and here I can create one Java class joke response this joke class I'm creating right into that joke you would be getting this thing right inner thing into the joke right what you will have joke info see what I'm creating how I'm creating joke info inner class to the joke right so you have this joke joke is representing this class make sure that joke is representing this class and joke info is representing this class okay so joke is having type and the value joke is having type and the value value is nothing but the list of joke infos okay let's do this thing 
private so type is nothing but what string private string type is there right and private array list of joke info and what's that name value would be the joke info value like this let's try to create getters and setters like this I got the getters and setters over here right I got the getters and setters over here now it's time to write the joke info class what is the joke info class ID which is integer joke again string and categories list of string right category is nothing but what list of string private you can say ID string ID right private here you would be getting what you can say joke is again string string joke keys should be same and private what you can say categories array list of a string you can say categories if you confuse with the spelling do not hesitate to type copy paste right getters and setters this you would be getting getters and setters for this now what's the thing JSON right you are going to have simply JSON nothing fancy in that getting the JSON right this method is going to get call on successful getting of the joke don't remove the log for now JSON you can say JSON is equals to new JSON I got the JSON right and here joke joke is equals to what joke joke is equals to JSON dot from JSON you can pass this s to this and joke dot type information class that's it you got the joke now here it is having one list right here you are having list you can create one method private right joke list void update joke list update joke list and here you are going to pass something called as joke and joke so here you can have array adapter right of type string adapter adapter is equals to new array adapter context you can pass this layout you can pass android dot r dot layout dot simple underscore list underscore item underscore one and the data will pass very soon right data is inside joke info I am here I am going to create array list of strings you can say jokes is equals to new jokes right now here if you can see for JK for string joke JK right from joke dot get value right it should be of joke info remember that joke info and you can say info so this joke is having one get value field of what jokes now what you can do is that jokes dot add info dot get joke that's it and this I'm going to pass over here what you can say jokes to this adapter I'm passing this jokes right in the Java 7 you don't need this right so context second parameter layout third parameter your data now find view by ID r dot ID dot what you can say list jokes typecast it to list view and 
you can say set adapter here you can say the adapter that's it and on successfully getting of this thing I'm going to call update joke and joke that's it you should see one list after happening this thing when I tap the API you should see one list over here right it is installing see what happens API once data would be there here you got one joke second joke from the web you got the data and displayed into the list every time you'd be getting different jokes one sample app you created about the joke request queue that's why this is happening so smoothly right if you think that you want to show some progress bar whenever you are going to hit this and you want to show some progress bar start that progress over here and stop that progress over here in on joke or over here right either you are going to start progress dot show dialog over here after this line show the dialog show dialog I'm not going to write that code and you can dismiss the dialog over here dismiss dismiss dialog progress dialog over here or in the error right this is about getting the data how you are going to get the data from the Woli very simple three lines of code and Java 8 made your life very much easier right so this is about the get call in the next tutorial I am going to show how we are going to post the data to one web server right using Woli that's it for this getting the data if you like our tutorials kindly subscribe us on the code cool channel